Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to PrepMedic. In this week's video, we are taking a look at the Anderson Rescue Solutions Multi-Loop Rescue Strap. So I'm actually super excited to review this product uh, and to take a look at it because this was one of those things where I saw it on Instagram, I saw it being used, was instantly intrigued, and then there must have been some kind of telekinetic uh, phenomenon going on because they actually reached out to me and were like, hey, do you want to take a look at this product? Um, I think this is one of the coolest items on the market for moving people in austere, stressful environments. Um, obviously, when you get into tactical medicine, firefighting, mountain rescue, um, anything like that, patient movement is a huge part of that. Uh, a downed firefighter, we need to be able to get them out, and we oftentimes have to be able to do that with very little uh, help. Now, same in a tactical situation, you're in care under fire, I don't have a ton of time to uh, put somebody on a mega mover or to do all of these fancy lifts and carries, a lot of times it's just dragging. So you get a lot of products that are super complicated, that they work super well when you get them on it, uh, but ultimately it's not something that when you get into the real world really hold true. And what I have found with this product is that it's very simple to use and it can be used in a multitude of different ways. There's not just one way to use this product. Uh, so I'm really excited to kind of show you guys this. Now, full disclaimer, I don't make any money off these guys, anything like that. They did send me this uh, for free, but this is definitely something that is going on my kit uh, in the tactical world and actually something that I'm going to start carrying on the helicopter because I did have a situation where this would have been very useful to have. So let's start with the outside, then we'll pull this uh, device out and I'll kind of show you some of the functionality. A lot of the different lifts and carries are not stuff that I can just kind of rattle off on the top of my head because there are so many. But at the end of this video, we'll put in kind of a montage of different ways you can use this and demonstrate a lot of its functionality instead of just talking about it. So the bag itself is a pretty standard nylon. Uh, down here, you've got loop field, uh, got the rescue strap, thing right down there, so if you want to put it on there. Uh, on the back, it's a uh, molly webbing, so you can take this. I'm gonna attach this to my uh, battle belt, uh, and then it's always with me. The one complaint I have with this is that it's really only mountable uh, in the vertical orientation. There are definitely times where I'd want to have this mounted more horizontal, and you can definitely attach your own straps, things like that but it would just be nice to have that option to put it like this uh, and then to have a belt loop, belt loop option for it as well. For color schemes, obviously I got the multicam because that's what my main entry gear for sort is, uh, but you can get this in a variety of different colors, you know, yellow uh, straps, black bag, uh, coyote brown, and then some other ones there. So depending what your role is, you can find a color scheme that matches. At the top, now the opening of this is what's really cool. So there's no zippers, there's no hook and loop, because that would all delay the deployment of this device. What you have up here is two magnets um, that hold it together so I can grab these loops here, pull it out, the magnets come apart just fine, but then it also gives it some retention so it's not just gonna fall out on its own. So as we pull this out, you'll see this loop is about seven feet long uh, end to end. And it's really thick, one inch tubular nylon. It is uh, climbing rated, like you're never gonna break this. Um, you know, even with your biggest patient or biggest victim, uh, even with full tactical gear, this is not something that is going to fail on you. They have all the technical specifications on their site. So at either end, what we just grabbed onto are actually the two loops. So instead of it just being the same nylon all the way up to the top, they've actually reinforced these and they make them bigger so you can identify them in a low light environment. So it's very tactile. It also makes it more comfortable to use. You won't have the webbing digging into your hands. So you have these two loops here. Now going down, I believe there's 11 separate loops and these are all secured. Um, you have a little less weight rating on these individual loops, but if you do break through, I forget what they call these pieces here, if you do break through that, it doesn't fail the system, it just goes to the next loop, so that's not an issue. So you have all of these different uh, sections where you can attach carabiners to, have different drag points. We'll talk about some of the functionality with that in a second. 
And then at the very bottom, we have a carabiner from Rock Exotica. They don't, uh, Anderson Rescue Solutions doesn't make this. This is a climbing carabiner. And what makes this special is that it's got this piece down here. And what this does is it keeps the webbing in one place. It doesn't allow this to come around. So when I'm hooking this onto somebody or somebody's drag strap or SCBA uh, strap, I am not trying to fight with this and it's not coming out. So it keeps it really secure. It does have this locking portion here, which I have mixed feelings about. You know, if this does go up and it keeps you from opening it, that could delay deployment in a really high stress environment. Seems like a really simple thing to undo, but is something that it just adds one more step of complexity. Granted, if you really screw it down, that's not gonna go anywhere and you're gonna have easy access to clip this onto a patient. That hooks onto the middle loop here, which is a little bit smaller, and then it's reinforced with extra nylon to give it just that much more strength when you're dragging somebody. So, like I said, we're going to demonstrate the use of this, but I'm gonna talk through like some of the concepts with this and why this is such a cool system. So, number one, it's scalable. So, they'll tell you that this can go from a super simple drag, which meaning that you put this under each shoulder of somebody on the ground, doesn't matter what they're wearing, doesn't matter if they're in an SCBA or if they're just a civilian or if they're in armor, you can put this guy over their chest or under their back and then loop these uh, between their arms, and then you can just do a really simple drag. Pull both of these out and drag them away from danger. Get them off the X, get them away from wherever the firefight's happening. But then you can scale it up from there. So like I said, that's reversible. You can do that either way. You can do that, you can start doing that, and then you can take a carabiner. If you have a carabiner on your battle belt, or if you're a firefighter and you wear a drag harness, you have a carabiner in front, I can take one of these and I can clip it on my belt. I can use one hand to pull, and then it keeps the system from failing if I lose one. Uh, the other great thing in like an officer down situation is I can clip one onto my belt, hold on the other hand. I still have uh, good control of that drag, but I can also have a sidearm out at the same time and provide cover. Obviously, that's not ideal in a lot of situations. We like to have other people providing that cover, but it's also a realistic situation that officers do find themselves in. Now, if you want to scale it even farther, you can turn this into a girth hitch. So put this around somebody, put one of these loops there, and now you have one hand and even uh, you don't have a second loop that you drop and it comes undone. Uh, so that's another way to use it. In confined space rescues or anything like that, you can take this, loop it, put it around the wrist. In firefighting gear, not that bad. Um, if it's just your wrist, yeah, you're going to lose some circulation to your hands, but you're going to be okay. You can put this on both hands and actually do a vertical drag or something in a confined space where I can't get something around the patient to get somebody out of a dangerous situation. So really cool there. Um, and I just like having uh, the option for it. A lot of our SWAT team where I work, they have uh, drag handles, nylon drag handles actually pinned to the back of them. And they're free floating um, because the drag handles on a lot of plate carriers, they're really low, so they put you in a really bad position when you're dragging. You have to bend down, you get it. It's really hard to provide cover support as you're coming out. So what this will allow you to do, instead of having the dangling uh, extra loops that they have that get caught on things, there was a guy that couldn't get out of the Bearcat the other day, um, this will allow you to actually pre-attach this to yourself. So if you want this for somebody else to drag you, you can attach this, clip it onto your drag harness, and then load the rest of it into this bag, keeps it out of the way. Somebody can really quick just grab it, deploy it, and start dragging you without having to do a bunch of extra work um, to get that on. Obviously, one thing I did forget to mention, you can just take this. If I'm using it, I can pull it out, deploy it, clip this onto the drag harness, and pull somebody in. It's pretty easy there. So without further ado, here are some demonstrations of this strap actually being used. Um, it's really easy to deploy, and then it's pretty easy to reload in the pack, although you definitely have to read the directions the first couple times you do it.
like I said, guys, this has a lot of versatility to it in a very small package compared to a Mega Mover. It's also really easy to use if you're by yourself or even with a number of helpers to help you extricate somebody. Easy to apply, easy to take off. If you have any questions about the ARS multi-loop rescue strap, please leave them in the comments down below and I will see you next time.